there everyone and welcome back to the big build here on mega aquarium this is episode number four i believe now um before we go on much further i did want to just clarify something because i did go back into the previous videos on this game that i did and i checked out the cost of the supplement dispenser which for some reason with this can only be a mod that i've got on is twenty two and a half thousand credits or dollars or whatever it's $675 in the last playthrough I did when I was just doing the campaign stuff for the Deep Freeze DLC. So <laughs> why is it that it is, what's that, 20 times more expensive? Whatever it, whatever the maths is. I mean, outside of the fact that that is jaw-droppingly expensive, what it does mean is that I can't, there are certain fish now that I cannot have because I won't be able to afford it. So this mantis shrimp that I wanted, can't have it. Because I cannot afford the supplements to keep it alive. Have I got any others that's in the same boat? Thankfully that appears at the at the moment to be the only one. For the backpack dispenser as well. And I'm fairly certain that is one backpack. So that's only going to be given to one employee. So it's ten thousand per employee. So if I was to if I was to give one to every employee that I have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I would need eleven. Oh god, a hundred and ten thousand dollars. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, anyway, let's let's carry on with with the big build. Anyway, let's carry on with what we were trying to achieve, and that is we're going to bring our people around this way. We're going to have some more tanks maybe in here. Then we're going to come down uh, and around. So we almost finish all the research now. And we're going to come back around, and then maybe we're going to start coming down and building all, all around here. Will we get every single fish into this aquarium? Will we get every single thing in here? Maybe, maybe not. I just want to build a massive, awesome aquarium. That's all we're looking to do here. Uh, it would be kind of nice as well if I could maybe polish off a few of these as well. Have I got the guppies in yet? Are they in there? Yeah, the guppies are in there. So there is a, a chance. Can't, fly in f uh, can't find a floating cover to breed. Available at rank seven, right? We can't we can't breed them until rank seven. Apparently, that was that's that's good to know. Good good that they told me that early doors. Uh, right, the shitchlids. Where are they? They are in here somewhere. Uh, there we go. They're there. So these are the bad boys I need. So they will probably make up the next part of my aquarium. So we got five thousand five hundred and ten dollars. So we've got enough in theory to move forward. Uh, do I? I don't really care about that. Uh, trade offered. Decline. Uh, you can do feeding. We can't accept that right now. That's fine. How many? How many guests have we got in here? Does it? Can we? Can we find out? Uh, Sixty-eight. There you go. Okay. Right. So what we're going to do? First of all, we just need to pause quickly. We are going to. Begin our expansion in this, in this direction. But first of all, we must close that off. Stop people coming through. And then... Open this out. Uh, over here. We might maybe have a little bit of a... Maybe try and put down some... Some decor of some description. I'm trying to think what that might look like, though. Not sure. Uh, from a tank perspective, what have we got? I think we have got a, a jetty tank. We've got a Belfast tank as well, which we could potentially use. Uh, those chitlers that we want to get in, how big are they? Let me remind myself. They will grow up to size 10. We have eight of them, so we need a tank of at least size 80. Uh, it needs to be neutral fresh water as well. And it needs to be, oh yeah, it needs to be 50% as well. So it needs to be 160 minimum before they start breeding. They will need a cave in order to do so. 
So though that tank... Uh, where's the Belfast tank? You can go up to 225. We're probably going to have to use every bit of that. So we'll probably... Maybe, maybe we'll have... Maybe we'll have a big old Belfast tank there as a, as an again as a nice little walk walk around, and then we'll take them down this way. And then what we can do is we can just cordon off just that this little bit here. Maybe just like 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 so, because uh, we actually we may need to cordon off even more of it. Camouflage door. So we're going to have to extend out a little bit further. In fact, we're going to have to go out considerably further because this is going to be where the, uh, the tanks, the tanks are going to be. Then I'm going to look after it. Like so. So there's another camouflage door over there. Uh, that is all we can do for the time being, so we'll leave that rolling. We don't want to commit to something that we can't do right now. I guess the big question is now, from a staffing point of view as well, is that do we include this area as part of that? I think probably not. I think maybe we have this as, an, as our next area. So we'll have that bit, whatever's here, and whatever's over here as our zone number three, I think. I think the staff over there are, have got... Everything under control that we need them to. Uh, right, so what have we got? Power pump, I'm assuming, will reach. It will indeed. We may need more than one power pump on this one, I suspect. Do this slowly. Actually, to be fair, the heaters and stuff don't really cost a great deal, do they? So this one can be it's all the heaters. It's heated to 270. That's probably a little bit too heavy. We'll go to 150. Uh, we'll have one filter there, one filter there, one filter there. Will we need a protein skimmer? That is the question. Don't know. But this, of course, is a... Oh, we can't anyway because it's a freshwater tank. Uh, right, okay. We've got 1,000 1, and whatever. So we should have enough now to do this. Did we, imme did we immediately just complete that? Okay, there we go. Did we just immediately complete? I think we did. Your reward for the subject and subjective donation is enclosed. What was the one that we had then? I'm sure we did. We not just have. Oh, there we go. So we just need to get to 160 point value, right? Okay, so uh, in the back here, we are going to need is that vegetables. It needs. They eat veg? Is that what they eat? This animal eats vegetables. And they eat five. And there's eight in there. So that's gonna, they're going to need 40 vegetables. And I think the... How much do they carry at a time? They carry, do they carry 50? Is that what they carry? I didn't think they carried quite as many as that. To wait until the next the next day um right quickly then let's do stuff uh, so you 
can be my fixer. You're the feeder. And then I just need someone to do the cleaning. Uh, yeah, you can, then you can do the cleaning. Okay, let's get all that lot in here. Zones, create new zone. So this is our zone for the moment. Okay, and then all we now need to do is, so you, you are my fixer. Um, it's fine, then we're gonna pick you up and pick you over there. You, Lexi, I think you might have been you're going to be my cleaner and my gift shop. That's perfect, actually. You're going to be my cleaner and my gift shop person. You can go over there. And you are literally just doing feeding, which is perfect. And you can come over there as well. Right, there we go. Uh, and then we need to build... to do that so that they can actually gain access. There we go. Right, let's see how much she picks up, first of all, before we start worrying about filling out that tank with everything else that it needs. We're also going to need, of course, to put a uh, sponge sink, broom, and tool station in there. So how much are you carrying? So I think she's carrying 50. Which means I think she can do it all in one trip. Because I'm pretty if, if I read that right that they all need five and there's eight of them, that's forty. So in which case, if I'm right and saying, yeah, oh there you go, perfect. Eight minute showers need forty vegetables. Perfecto. There we go. Right, so they're all happy. Um right, let's let, let them carry just for a second. Can you look after this uh, Adolfo's Cory? That's a Adolfo's Cory? Who fucking named that poor thing? Adolf's Corey. You can stick the O in all you like. No one's pronounced. No one's going to. Uh, that's a silent O for everyone who's reading that. Uh, Shola likes to share with at least two different species of animals, and they require acidic water. Uh, Patrick has leveled up. Um, let me just check. I, I might do that tourism one first. Just because I feel like that is a much more base prestige plus 35. That, that gets us over the line. Not quite. We need four more guests. Once we open up this area, I think we'll get that as well. Uh, right, big question is, of course, is that do we now... I think we probably do the same as what we did over on the other side. Is we do this... like that and then up and then I just delete that one and what are we going to go over here then do we go tropical beach should we go tropical we also now need to do the same over here so we need to then paint Minimal on the floor. This is just this is just our little separators. That needs to be. Oh, we'll, we'll tidy this up in a second. Like so. So that's going to be shipwreck. That's going to be shipwreck. Oh, you can paint. That was somebody. What was somebody's comment, wasn't it? You can paint them. Okay. I was not aware you could paint them. Let's go and do this. Although, have we already had tropical over here? That is tropical there, isn't it? Maybe we do something. We have to do something else then. Because this is tropical, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I don't know why I didn't pick up on the fact that this was that these were paintable. It's literally called 
themed... Was it themed bench or something they're called? Oh, it looks like I've already done that one. I must have done that one by accident. Um, is there anything else that needs... That needs to be rotated. Um, I think that is everything, isn't it? Okay, so that is good to know. Right, let's just uh, tidy this up over here. Like so. And then, so now, we're going to get them. We might as well get them to come into, into Greek then. Now, obviously, if I was being really, uh, really astute... Then I would look up all the fish and find out where they're from and do it that way. But I definitely am not doing that. Uh, Greek. Any closing off that? It's fine. It can be Greek. It's shipwreck. And that. Ow! That's Greek. As well still bugs me that that is the wrong color it really does but anyway we're now into the Greek zone uh, and we need to put some stuff in here let's just liven things up and then we're gonna have to start placing some guest attractions and stuff down here no doubt they want another toilet Nancy has leveled up they're going to be ace fixers and feeders by the end of this game. Part of me wants to build an archway going through here. So 70 guests, lovely. Uh, yeah, part of me wants to build a gateway really uh to really signify that, we, that they're moving into a different different kind of area of, of the aquarium yeah i think we do right we're gonna we're gonna open this up now we need to delete that Need that because they're going to need to all come. One more. Actually, no, they don't need to come one more along like that, do they? Because the, the archway, in theory, is going to go. It's going to go there as well. And then, after yet more. Faffing around. Minimal paint in there like that. Shipwreck there. And then Greek there, there, and there. We do, do we go what do we go one more? I think we go one more. Just the two. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want to go. No, I want to go three. I'm going to have to move this back one.
there we go right there we go even though they can literally see exactly what they're walking into straight away that is uh that is a nice little walkway through okay right let us uh sort out this one first so we've got some greek stuff we can stick in here now which is kind of uh kind of cool we can make this one a little bit uh a tank to really impress people uh they needed a cave didn't they which was really which was really important if i remember rightly for when they need to oh, we don't have enough money lovely uh for when they do their breeding how much is it 328 That goes in there like that. And then. Still, still need more money. 138 per. And then we can get some Amazon sword, swords in there. We need to get some more. Uh, we're, all, we're very close to leveling up now, thankfully. Once we do, we can get access to some more decorations to go in our, uh, in our tanks. Because it's all looking a bit samey at the moment for people. I'm sure they're getting annoyed at seeing the same stuff in all the tanks. And there we go. We have ranked up to level six. So we've now got a second different type of Greek paint. Pirate Cove paint. Pebble substrates as well, which is kind of cool to stick in. We've got ancient gains, velvet horns, pity columns, ship railings, which we could potentially use for a pirate cove. Um, a flat slate. Greek vase, that's cool to have. Um, is this a... Don't know if that's maybe something to go in for... Uh, for the freshwater stuff or not and then what do we got down here guidebooks isn't looking at down here we've got a large chiller double filter large combi filter the ro machine which uh the oh it's reverse osmosis there you go that's what it stands for water is forced through a semi-permeable membrane at high pressure removing minerals which would otherwise buffer the water making it more alkaline and uh, we've got a bridge tank sneakers dispenser trainers to everybody else small polar dome that's kind of huge we can start getting some things like ducks and otters and that sort of stuff uh, a creasel tank for jelly, um, jellyfish. Supplement manual dispensers. Supplement manual increases the equipped staff's members' feeding skill by 60. Well, we're not going to need that because it's going to be a few years until we can afford the supplements thing. But uh, anyway, there we go. So what do we unlock first? So we're still in the tropical element, right? So oh, there's, there's Adolf's Cory. That is possibly the best fish name I've ever seen or ever heard. Uh, Long-tailed duck. Uh, unicorn surgeon fish. That's a big fish. Goes to 18. That is a big boy. Yeah, let's get that one. And on this side of things, um, what should we go for? Bridges are cool. Right? We've got a bridge tank. We've got a bridge here. Well, now that bridge would work. But how could you... How, could you, <clears throat> how would you implement that? What, what use would it have in an aquarium? Not, not entirely sure. We'll have a we'll have a think about how that could work. Maybe maybe a, a situation will present itself as we're playing through. Right, we are going to take. Uh, ironically, we're actually going to take the guidebook shelf because I think it just gives us more opportunities to earn money. And money, we always seem to be ever so slightly sure of money, don't we? So, uh, right. So that tank is now done. I am happy with with how that is looking. Uh, some seats about the place for the time being like so it would be nice as well to get some more food and drink dispensers and we need a wall arrow as well Cover, cover these in Greek paint. And then, what's the other thing we were going to add? We need toilets, don't we? Oh, 
Oh, we, have, we don't have enough money. We're now in the minus monies. Come on, owe me some money. Lovely, and then... Not enough money for a toilet either. There we go. Our Greek painted toilet goes into the corner. Lovely old job. And I guess finally what we could do... Have ourselves a lovely little ecology poster to go... Either side. As usual, we don't have enough money. Ecology poster there to go onto that tank. And data sign to go there. Um, duh, 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 duh. And we also will need bins, won't we? So can paint those bad boys. And then what else can we have? Rope divider. New? I think they, some of these are new. The pebble sub. We don't want the pebble subs. Uh, actually, no. Pebble substrate would kind of work, actually, wouldn't it? Where did I just? Where did I just see that? It was in there. Not enough money. How much is it? Three hundred and eleven. I feel like actually this would kind of work. It's a Greek tank, isn't it? And a lot of Greek islands are on volcanic islands. Or some are, anyway. So actually having pebbles at the base of that kind of sort of fits the theme, I feel. Uh, yes, I was right. It creates acidity in the water. So, what have we got? This new yeah, ship railings. That's kind of cool. We've got some good options. I mean, obviously, these are still fairly small tanks in the grand scheme of things. We've got much larger ones to come. Um, let's get the... We might as well start unlocking some acidic ones, because I think we will, we are going to have the ability to do that fairly soon. So we shouldn't be too worried about uh, using those. Um, right, was there anything else? Oh, we've got the Hermit Crab Toy Dispenser. How can we forget the Hermit Crab Toy Dispenser? Where was the last one that we had? The last one we had is over there. We have one, one there. We are going to need... Where on earth is it going to be? Hermit Crab, one of them. Press the right button. One of those there like that. Cannon for sale. Five cannons for six hundred dollars. We can't afford it anyway. Um, okay, science poster. The value of yeah, we could probably do that actually. We'll take that one because we are. I think science poster is one of the things we can unlock. I think. Yeah, there. So we can unlock that. Right, that's that little area set up quite nicely. Methinks. Because I didn't build that too quick enough, she went all the way up. I'm assuming over here, <laughs> or in here maybe, to go and collect the um, uh, the, the the stuff for the hermit crab toy stand. Okay. Um, it takes a long time. I've been recording half an hour, and I've just done that one new section. Okay. So where to next then? So I guess do we do we want to take them down this side and come round? Probably do, which means we probably need to move this. Let's move this over here. I mean I know I can actually adjust that, but I don't feel like there's ever really a need to. We're making fourteen dollars profit on every single chocolate bar. And $12 on every single fizzy drink. 
I think we're fine. Right. Things are going well, as always, as they have been for a little while. We're going to let the money just build up a little bit before we extend our Greek section. Now, I have maintained that we have, like, a... All of these are all tropical fish. These are all hot water fish. Do we now flick to cold water fish? Because we've got quite a few of them to potentially throw in. I know we've, we've been primarily continuing to unlock these other ones, but we do have a lot of them. We don't we don't have too many too many fish. I mean, we could do another freshwater tank. Oh, no, that's not good. We'd have to unlock maybe a few more. The thing is, it said the way this is worded is it still confuses me because it says it's compatible with freshwater tanks. That doesn't necessarily mean that it can't go in salt water, but as a general rule, if you're a salt water fish, you don't go in freshwater and vice versa. So I'm going to assume that that means that they have to be one or the other. My bookshelf, lovely. Okay. Next, we'll take the science post to them. Right, let's get some guidebook shelves down then. We'll get one of these in close to the entrance, I feel. Catch people as they come in. I mean, by this point, if they've got this far in the aquarium and then they buy a guidebook... <laughs> So you have to question the uh, the logic of the person, but hopefully by pausing the game, there it's going to mean that they're all going to go around, and go to their nearest guidebook disposal. Uh, sorry, guidebook box to go and get them and bring them out. We're on day 73. I didn't notice how far we'd gone. Right, all the uh, all the shish lids have all grown. Sven has leveled up. I assume you're fixing. You're obviously feeding. Level 7 for feeding. Greek hoplite shield. That's kind of cool. I'll take those. And have them on the uh, on the way in. It's annoying they don't go into your inventory. It's, not, it's annoying that they stay within your uh, within your messages. Let's put them everywhere in here. Right, that's a really... I'm very pleased with that little area over there. Everything is going well. We're making plenty of money as well. I think we're making profits in almost every day. Look at, the, look at the day's profit. Yeah, we are very much in the green. So I guess we should now start making plans for our next move. this point just unlock anything and everything at this point I think really we'll get Adolf's Corey involved honestly the best name I've ever heard for a fish right, we're just gonna just gonna buy out the area for the time being how much money is that gonna cost me 400 nice there we go so I think we're actually just going to take them on a walk down this way and then have a bunch of tanks kind of along here, like a really long line of tanks along that just run along there. <laughs> now the question is, is that do I use the 
jetty tank for it, just as an example. We've got any other new types of tanks we could use? I mean, the abyssal tanks are very obviously are very specific. How big can they? Oh, see, I can't actually. For flipping hell's bells, they can be very big. I mean, I guess <clears throat> what would be really uh, what would be really cool, and we can't tell just for a moment because we need to perhaps go and unlock it next. If we were to build a bridge, how big can you build it? Is it predefined at that size? Bridges are to connect one part of your aquarium to another without blocking the flow of traffic underneath. <clears throat> I was kind of thinking that if you had like a big old tank, could you just build a walkway over the top of a tank like this so that people could just look over the top? I don't think that that is what they're going to be used for. Because it's a shame, because this jetty tank here would be perfect to kind of just have in here, excuse me, in here, basically block off this entire corridor but just allow them to carry on walking over the top of it and carry on going to the other side. I don't think that's going to be possible. It's a shame that I didn't actually just wait there and click because there was a uh, there was a trait on that piranha with loads of teeth. And I didn't see what that trait was. I'd not, I've not seen that one before. Assuming that Romeo is, uh... he is just fixing good. I did, uh, I did level up the correct skill. <clears throat> so I guess really we probably need to push that out a bit further, like so. It may, do you know what? It's going to have to go. It's probably going to go back even further. Corridor goes all the way down there. We are, we are rapidly getting through these uh, these fish. Look at the amount of ecology points we're, we're cre creating here. The science is going to go up nice as well because we can get some of these science posters on some of these tanks. On some of the uh, on some of the big ones. Um, yeah, I think we're, uh, could we create a big mega tank with these three then? It requires acidic water, there needs to be a shoaler, they like to be with at least two other species, that's great. They're a shoaler, so are they. Actually, all three of these can, can go together. Brine shrimp, they will eat live artemia, they will eat live artemia as well. Remember, we've got any other fish that are supposedly breeding, yeah. Can't find fluffy foliage available at rank 8. So the, it's not actually telling me what is causing problems. I, mean, I can see at a glance here, problems. What's wrong with these guys? Oh, they're in territory problems. I mean... I may have to sell, I may have to sell to, like two of them. I thought I'd have enough there. Did I not make that tank the biggest it can be? That's really irritating. Okay. Um, let's go. We'll go for the RO machine. I thought I made that tank as big as I could make it. I didn't. I should have made it wider. Right. Well, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to build the tank over here. Put everything in it from over there and then basically replace the tank over here. <laughs> That's effectively what I'm going to have to do. And it's going to be a bit of a squeeze either side. I should get a little bit more space behind that. I'll have to redo the bit behind it though. How much is that going to cost? 2812. Come on, get me there.
Come on, nearly there, nearly there. 2812 is what I need. There we go, okay. Right. We are going to pick everything up. We are paused, so... Stupid. Okay, right. Sell that. Move that out of the way for a second. Alright, okay, delete it then. Do that as well. Right. How does that fit in? Oh, it's a bit of a squeeze, isn't it? Gonna have to move everything. Have to move everything back. On this side a little bit, aren't we? Doesn't matter with the overspill on that side because it's all gonna retain the same. Look and feel anyway. Might as well do it while we're here. Okay. Like so, like that. And then just gonna have to move everything back. It's annoying, I missed I missed one. Also going to have to should be able to get away with this, I think, if we do it like this. forward like so one more one of them repaint that bad boy okay that is okay so now and tank that one and tank that one how we looking water quality is fine but we need more heat okay now we're all happy. We've, we've clicked our fingers and all of a sudden, all of our uh, guests are gone. I swear that tank was smaller. Oh, it must just be my eyes. <laughs> uh, right, so now we can also get... Oh, we've also got the science posters now, haven't we? We can get the science poster for that bad boy. We can get... Oh, we can we can only have one of each. That's fine. We've got we've got plenty of um, we've got plenty of the ecology posters around the place, so we can have that there. That is absolutely fine. And then we'll also just put a uh, a data sign just next to it like that. Right, that was. That was a little bit, uh, yeah, didn't quite expect to be having to do that before doing all of this over here, but uh, it was necessary, it was worthwhile, we did it. Our fish are now perfectly happy in there. Uh, I don't know what, what have they got in there, they're at 35%, so the only thing we'll just have to be a little bit careful of is, is when they breed. It's the only thing we'll have to be a little careful of. Now. These three are the kiddies, aren't they? 
Now, these don't generate science, these generate ecolo ecology points, which is kind of annoying. Only these ones do. Okay, what about in here? We've we got any interesting fish. We can get some sea needles. Show uh, they will eat science. Okay, so they can't go with those. That's annoying. The crustaceans. These two could go together. And they will generate plenty of science as well. Be on their own or singly, but they do like to be with other species as well. They will eat crustaceans. You're not, you're not a crustacean, you're a starfish. So in theory, they could go in there with them as well. Although, again, it's ecology, not thingy. But it would just satisfy the, uh, the sea needle. It's a fairly big tank, but not crazy. It's a herring. I feel a bit uh, a bit dirty putting cold water fish in an, in an environment where we're painting it in Greek. Does the Mediterranean ever get cold? <laughs> Certainly not cold enough to house these sorts of fish, I would highly doubt. Okay. I think we do... I think we do... A couple of these along here. I think they, these three can all go together as well, can't they? I think I did say they could. These an open space. They're just all—they're all shoulders, aren't they? So they're just going to need to be a very big tank. So I think actually maybe we use that jetty tank. Uh, yes, for you. Maybe we use this big jetty tank. As our how much is that gonna cost? Nearly five thousand on its own. I'm just saying that. I mean, to be fair, I've, I've not been deliberately waiting for the money, and we're almost nearly at near five thousand to get that supplement dispenser. As stupid as that cost is. To get to 22,000 maybe won't take quite as long as I sort of anticipated it would. The only trouble is, is that we're forever spending money as soon as we get it. So saving up for 22,500 might take a while because we're going to have to put everything else on hold while it catches up. Yeah, I think this, this tank goes in first. We need space around it. Uh, oh, bridge tank. That's exactly what we need. Oh my god, that's perfect. I was literally just talking about how we could use a bridge to uh, to make the uh, make to go over the top of the tanks, and we've got a tank that will do exactly that, and it's massive. That is bloody perfect. It's paintable as well. Three depth. It's massive, draggable. The guests love it. It's a high prestige tank. Yes, 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 yes. We are generating how much science? 830-ish. That is the one we want. Do we want floating lettuce? Oh, we do actually. What was the what was the fish that needed that? Was it these? Yes! The floating guppies! This is what you want this is what you wanted! Why is it invalid placement? Is the tank not deep enough? Fresh water, floating cover. Paint, yes. Why can this not go in? No! The guppies! This is invalid placement location. Can it not go in a tank like that? I think it is. I don't think it can go into that type of tank. And we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to move the guppies at some point, then, aren't we? Okay, whatever. Uh, Grace has leveled up. I'm gonna suggest she's doing cleaning and gift gift shop so she can level that up. Um, right. Yeah. So we'll wait for that bridge tank then. Right. On that note, I think we'll probably. Do we end the episode there? I think we probably do, just because this is going to be a fairly large build from this point of order to do the rest of this. So in episode five, 
We'll do this one. We're going to make this one a slightly shorter episode than it has been previously. Episode 5 is going to be about filling this area. We're going to get that bridge tank. We will get uh, these three fish in there. So the Cardinal Tetras, Congo Tetras, and the Adolf's Cory. We'll get them in there. <laughs> That's never not going to be funny, is it? Um, it's going to require quite the array of food as well. We may have, we're going to have to get at least one more staff member in here to help cover off the food. And yeah, we're, we're starting to get into the uh, into the big boy stuff now, aren't we? So get a polar dome probably at some point in the next episode, whether we use it in this area, I don't know. We may wait until we go down to a more of a colder area. What other themed decorations have we got? Have we got one that can go for a, a cold look and feel to it? I mean, I guess we could go Greek paint too. Just say that that's a cold one, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, so, yes, thank you very much, everyone, for coming along with this ride. The numbers have been pretty reasonable on these videos so far for a channel of my size. Make sure you're subscribing if you're enjoying. Make sure you're liking and commenting and all that good stuff. And we'll see you all next time for episode number five.